The vast universe has been observed and explored since ancient times. Scientists spare no efforts to uncover the mysteries surrounding the genesis and evolutions of the universe by radio telescopes. In year 2020, China's 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, dubbed at the China Sky Eye, was completed commissioning. It's the world's largest and the most sensitive single-dish telescope. Nairandong was the chief scientist behind the project. In February 2021, Chinese President Xi Jinping made a three-day inspection trip to southwest China's Guizhou province. There, Xi met with the project leaders and core scientists of FAST. Xi noted, China Sky Eye, a national major scientific infrastructure as well as a powerful tool to observe the universe. It is of great value to the country representing a major, creative breakthrough at the frontier of science. A large group of Ansan science workers, represented by Nanyendong, have dedicated to such a touching deed. In 1993, astronomers from 10 countries, including China, proposed to build a new generation of large radio telescope. Hearing the news, Nanyendong, a world non-scientist, decided to take on the task. The site selection was the most important yet challenging work at the initial stage of the project. Nanyendong, together with team members, began site serving in 1994. After more than 10 years' hard work, Nan finally found an ideal site, a karst valley deep in mountainous Guizhou province. With an investment of 196 million US dollars, the FAST project kicked off in March 2011 and completed in 2016. The support towers of the China Sky Eye are more than 100 meters tall. Every time where there's a new tower being built, Nanyendong would be the first to climb and inspect the construction. Chinese President Xi sent a congratulatory letter to scientists, engineers, and builders as FAST was officially put into use on September 25, 2016. Xi said its launch is significant for China to achieve major breakthroughs in frontier scientific fields and to expedite innovation-driven growth. In September 2017, or nearly one year after FAST started its operation, Nan died of illness. In October 2018, the Chinese National Astronomical Observatory's Chinese Academy of Sciences officially named an asteroid after Nan. In January 2020, FAST passed a national acceptance test and was officially put into operation. So far, FAST has discovered some 500 pulsars, ranking the world's most efficient equipment in locating pulsars. 
starting from March 31st, 2021, FAST was open to international applications, aiming to share the resources with the rest of the world. 回首过去，一代代苦守家，前仆后继，展望未来，我们还要尽力奋斗，为人类探索未知世界做出更大的贡献。